Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about heat protectant and the importance of using heat protectant. And we're also going to review one of my utmost favourites, which I have used for a number of years on and off. And it and it and it just dawned on me actually that we haven't reviewed it. So first things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but it would really, really help me out with where I am trying to get my channel, trying to grow my channel where I want it to be. So now we've got that out of the way, let's crack on. So today we are going to have a look at the Tresemme Heat Protectant. Now this one I have used on and off for quite a few years and the effect is just absolutely brilliant. Just to get that out there, it's a fantastic heat protectant. It really does look after your hair. It really does keep that health, that vitality, that shine and just keep hair looking fresh and that real nice healthy look and feel about hair particularly of course with using heat every single day very often hair can really really feel the strain and the stress under that so using a heat protectant is beneficial and do you know what an absolute must when you're styling your hair with heat whether it just be once in a while or every day you really want to be using a heat protectant on your hair so let's talk about that why would you want to use a heat protectant on your hair the easiest way to describe this, how I've always thought this, is if you're if you've got any and I mean any type of hair at all, whether it be thick, fine, thinning, full, sort of areas where you want a little bit more help with things, you're gonna use a little bit more heat to get that style to really sort of emphasis the look of thicker hair or or sort of um to get those sort of waves in the hair, and we're talking men and women here, um, or to straighten a fringe or what have you. And of course, if you've got thick hair, you're gonna really use heat again to really iron that hair out straight, or you may just want to manipulate your hair to a style which takes a lot of heat, whatever hair type you've got, whether you're a man or a woman. Now, the reason why you would use a heat protectant is, of course, protection of that hair, to keep that vitality, to keep everything shiny, healthy, but of course also to keep damage at bay. Now, if you don't use a heat protectant, what can often happen is that hair can become brittle, it can become really, really dry, and eventually it can break. I literally mean just snap off. And that is not nice. I have to admit, from having uh, highlights in my hair, bleached hair um, really does take a lot more nourishment. So if you're going to then throw on heated sort of appliances every day or every couple of days, then you really are going to benefit from using a heat protectant. How I always think of a heat protectant is if you imagine the cuticle, the length of the hair, and if you imagine sort of if you were to wrap that hair up, I always find what a heat protectant spray does, particularly a good one like this from Tresemme, what it does is it coats that hair so you get that invisible sort of coating on the hair, and what it does is it protects the hair, so it keeps all of those nasty sort of things such as damage, such as brittleness, breakage, at bay. Now, of course, it's not going to stop every single element of damage, but it's certainly going to protect your hair more than what your hair naturally would be without any type of protection at all. Now, what things to look out for. When you're not using a heat protectant to when you are, you can certainly notice a difference. For example, me. Recently, it's kind of slipped my mind a little bit. You can imagine with my channel with so many different products and things which I review, I've got like this sort of army of products which are absolutely sort of overflowing with things. So I've got products for hair items for sort of fine hair, for sort of keeping your hair really, really ultimately thick, for styling hair, hairsprays, those type of things. So what I've been doing recently is using heat on my hair, but of course what I've been doing after I shampoo and condition my hair, I've been using a repair oil. But here's the thing, a repairing oil is of course to repair damage. But there's me thinking, actually, hang on a moment, I haven't been using my heat protectant. Then the difference when you actually start using a heat protectant, and literally, shampoo, condition the hair, then spray this all over. Absolutely, spray it all over your hair from roots, lengths, all of it, don't want to miss anything, because of course this really does help uh, keep all those things at bay, even whilst you're using a blow dryer. A blow dryer can be super damaging as well. But the difference is literally night and day. So if you're not using a heat protectant and you've just come across this by chance, start using one. You will absolutely thank yourself for starting to use one because what you find is your hair, and the easiest way to describe this is, if you imagine you've got a, uh, you've got a piece of hair, sort of like what I've got here, you go to use sort of a flat iron or straight or whatever you want to call it, and you pass that through your hair. Without the heat protector, what I find is the hair sort of goes and sort of shrieks up. So it can make it look a little bit frizzier, especially if your hair's on the fine side. So it can really sort of make the hair 
like you need to use a use the heated appliance a lot more to be able to achieve your style. Whereas I find when you use a heat protectant, again like this one here, it really does help you achieve the style what you're looking for. So I find that it doesn't take half so long with a blow dryer and it certainly doesn't take sort of several passes of a straightening iron or something like that to achieve the look what you're going for. Now something which, another thing which I really really just want to point out is as your hair grows, of course, which I often have to remind myself of this, because if you if you think anything to your ear is a year's worth of hair, hair growth. So it's a year. Anything after that is, of course, a lot longer time. So I think a year to year, and then it'd be fair to say to your shoulder, it would be two years. Anything longer than that, you're talking three years and more. So if you take that in thought, if you were to wear a T-shirt for 365 days a year, wash it, condition it every single day, heat it, and you use hairsprays, all these sort of styling products and things. Can you imagine by the end of one month how that t-shirt would look? Can you imagine what your hair would look like if you were to look at it in the, on that type of scale? Quite scary, huh? So literally incorporate a heat protectant in your hair routine and you will notice a huge difference because I do. Pretty recently, as I say, I've been using a repair oil after the Pantene Pro, uh, Pantene Pro V uh, repair oil, repairing damage, I think it is. It's on my channel anyway, if you'd like to have a look. It's one of my recent ones um, and that's a fantastic oil. But of course, it's for repair. It's not actually uh, prevention. So it's not a heat protectant. So it's a huge, huge difference. It really, really is when you start using one. So my absolutely huge, go and, go and have a look at one, or if not, try this one. That's what we're here today looking at. So let's tell you a little bit more about this one here. So it, so we have got Tresemme, used by professionals, UK's number one heat defense spray. And I've looked on the back, that's based on a study or a survey in 2017 that has come from. So UK's number one heat defense spray based on 2017. So it's protection up to 230 uh, degrees Celsius on here, so heat protection. So if you think that's super, super hot, so this is going to protect your hair all the way up to that temperature. But just have a realistic approach. If you do not need to use those type of temperatures, don't. If you've got fine or thin or thinning hair, which can still look amazing on both men and women, you do not need to use those type of temperatures. My hair, for example, I quite like the look, particularly if I'm not feeling great or if I've got something going on. I quite like it at the moment where I'm growing it out to blow dry it back over and then I pass a straightener through it. Then I take a little bit of pomade then I just pull it through and you can see then with my fingers, I sort of create these pieces here and again on this side and then I use a bit of sort of free spray and then that's sort of me good for the rest of the day. And of course, I've got the, the thickness on the top here from how I've dried it and then it just looks quite sort of quite cool, quite trendy at the sides. Um, and of course, I've got those highlights going through as well, which really, really helps. But with my heat protectant, it makes things it makes things so much more sleek, so much more healthy. It feels quite nourished. It feels well looked after. Whereas if you do, do all that without it, you would really need to have a look at putting oil through your hair afterwards in the evening if you go to wash all this out or when you go to wash your hair again. So it really, really is huge. So let's continue this. So that's what I'm saying. I'm um, going back to that uh, temperature, by the way. Again, if you need to use that heat, always just be really, really careful. But as I say, prevention is always better than cure. So really, really try and prevent that damage before doing it. Um, if you don't have to use those temperatures, don't. And that applies to men and women's hair. Okay, so heat defense spray with UV filter. So that's fantastic. So of course it's gonna, uh, if you've got colored hair, if you've got highlighted hair, um, the UV filter is gonna really help keep your color as bright and as vibrant um, as you walked out of the salon or your hairdressers when you've had that done. Paying all the money, let's be honest, it is expensive. It is not cheap to have these highlights. It is not cheap when you have your hair coloured, whether you're a man or a woman. Of course, predominantly more women are going to have their hair coloured. It is not. It is not cheap at all. Absolutely, it's not cheap. Um, stories and things which I've heard in my family, just even from my nan, my mum, sort of different friends, family members, that type of thing, how much they charge for women's hair colouring. I think it's absolutely crazy, but there we go. That's another story. Um, so something like this with a UV filtering is gonna really, really help keep everything vibrant, healthy, shiny, and keep your color lasting as long as possible. So let's move on. So it's Care and Protect, which it absolutely does do that. It really does care for your hair and it really does protect the hair. It seals in shine. So I always find that this really helps make my hair really nice and shiny, really nice and sleek, and really does look after my hair. So that box is ticked. So it's professional quality. I would absolutely say this is professional quality. Certainly 
money. If this was being used on my hair and hairdressers, um, I'd be pretty happy with that. Absolutely. So it says here, back on the back, our philosophy. So from our origins in salons in 1948, we have been driven by a simple truth. Every, so it's got here, every woman um, deserves to look and feel fabulous. But I think that's a little bit, especially nowadays, men and women like to look good. This does not look like just a like a woman's packaging. This could be used by a man or a woman, absolutely anybody at all. So I think that could possibly benefit from being changed, to be honest with you. Um, so then if we look on the back here, like they've just stepped out of a salon, Tresme is dedicated to creating cutting edge salon quality hair care style and experience, uh, experience that salon feeling every day. And with this, you certainly do get that. I have to admit, you really do like that fresh cut feeling, particularly in the length of your hair as well. Because um, of course, going back to what we said, a year to your ear, to grow anything after that is a long uh, is a long time so of course using heat on it washing it conditioning strong sprays and things like that it's going to take a toll so anything you can do to keep that damage at bay like this is going to really really help okay let's move on why use a heat defense it's actually got that on here so let's listen to what tresme will take a look what tresme say okay so professional quality formula helps protect hair from damage while blow drying and heat styling contains a heat activated complex to help protect hair when drying and straightening so that's going back to if you remember like i said if you imagine a sort of a cuticle of hair and it sort of have that has that invisible sort of a lope sort of protection wrapped around it so that's going to really really keep all that damage at bay of course it's not going to stop every single element of damage and that's why i say that if you don't need to use a really 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 hot appliance on your hair then turn it down if you've got volume control turn it down i know you haven't on ghd uh, items because i've got ghd uh, like a ghd straightener um and a ghd uh blow dryer and of course they are set at that temperature the blow dryer is different of course but ghd straighteners they are set at a temperature which uh, GHD have sort of um, have sort of uh, given uh, they've sort of given that thought that a single temperature is much more better for your hair rather than those sort of passes through and through and through that ultimate temperature is the best for styling so if you've got that of course just still be really really careful and always use a heat protectant so let's move on so our expert tips so prep your hair with your favorite tresme shampoo conditioner okay it says that you don't have to at all um sometimes i'm particularly don't, particularly don't like tresme shampoo conditioner but i do like the heat protectant spray you could if you wanted to um i really don't feel it makes the experience any more better but of course it's good if you if you wanted to follow that it's another thing you could do um unlock the spray so this cap here it's like a, a push button so unlock the cap and then we have got by pushing the button at the side of the pump the soft shiny result spray evenly throughout damp hair use a brush to pull hair straight and blow dry from roots to ends for a really smooth finish use a blow dryer with a concentrated nozzle finish spray with your favorite tresemme hairspray okay so you could do that i quite like the in the white can with the blue writing the tresemme free spray but i find it a little bit wet for my hairstyles which i use sometimes but that's a really good hairspray as well um and then i think that is pretty much everything on the back here i think it is and I think that brings us on quite nicely to something which I wanted to uh, discuss. So we have mentioned about straightening uh, hair very often in this. I always find if you blow dry your hair through, first of all, and then straighten your hair, you get a much nicer finish. But of course, that then opens up to a lot more damage. So let's talk about that for a little bit. So blow drying hair, you may think that just shampoo and conditioning your hair and then going in for a warm blow dryer is absolutely fine. And it is, of course. But if you're doing that daily, whether you're a man or a woman, let's be fair, you get a much more polished, professional, nice, sleek look with using a blow dryer and a brush, whatever brush you use. So if you are doing that, fantastic. You're going to get great results. I like to do that. But a blow dryer can give you just as much damage and sort of breakage, brittleness in your hair as what a straightener can. So pressing that hair between two hot irons exactly the same to be quite honest with you because you would never believe how hot that hair dryer gets if you have ever taken a moment to feel the inner core of your brush so i don't mean the bristles but that inner piece of the brush how hot that gets is absolutely incredible and by the way i've had a few mishaps where i've had sort of the prongs of the brush actually give me a little bit of a burn where i've gone a little bit too over the top with the hairdryer so just imagine what your hair goes through so that's another point there of why it's really quite important to use a heat protectant and at the end of the day if you don't and then you use one whenever you start to use one it's never too late perhaps you've got really dry coarse hair and you think actually i don't really want to bother using a heat protectant anymore start using one you will notice that it makes a huge difference and will help your hair naturally recover okay i really really hope that you've enjoyed this clip i certainly have thank you very much for sharing that with me and until next time we will see you then bye for now